Hi everyone, Loose the Knee Juice Tano here, the internet's busiest music nerd, and it's time for a review of this new Genesis Owusu album, Smiling With No Teeth. This is a Ghanaian Australian singer, songwriter, rapper who is making his full length debut with, the, with this project, and I just heard heard about him recently. Three months ago, in fact, when I was doing an interview with Mr. Kieran J. Callanan, who during said interview, he recommended Mr. Owusu's work and said that he was involved in his uh, new stuff and that it was coming out good. Considering how much I enjoy Kieran's work generally, that was a recommendation I did not take lightly, and I was instantly impressed with what I was able to find so far, especially the track and music video for I Don't Need You, and Centric, shouty piece of bedroom funk with casually wrapped verses, colorful falsettos, as well as zany guitars. The lyrics are also one of many moments on this LP that deal in mental health, with the often mentioned black dog on the track being a metaphor for depression, which turns up on Smiling With No Teeth again and again and again. Now, the prospect of this album for me became even more tantalizing with catchy, smooth teasers like Gold Chains, which features a glistening, groovy instrumental peppered with these frantic guitar embellishments. Creatively, the track also ties in with the overall themes of depression in what seems like an attempt to explore the idea of keeping it at bay by just diving into material things. Something that comes out pretty explicitly on the chorus, my boo said I should take it slow, I wish I could heed that without the burning of a fucking greenback when it looks so gold and it feels so cold inside these chains. One thing I want to note about this track that also carries over on others is that Owusu is very on point and charismatic no matter what vocal approach he's taking on a track. He raps in different registers, he sings in different registers. There are even a few points on this thing where vocally he seems to start embodying the style of another artist in a really clear way. Most notably on the intro track where vocally he is delivering these deep death grip style roars. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty clear he listens to the group. And it's the kind of thing I'd call out as derivative if it were the biggest issue I had with the track. Really what makes this intro not so enjoyable for me is that each individual element instrumentally doesn't really seem to match up or complement each other. From the glitchy noises, to the booming beat, to the uh, somewhat distant muttered falsettos and weird synth arpeggios, I feel like I'm listening to four or five different pieces of sound from separate songs and they've just somehow come together onto this track. Thankfully, nothing else on the album sounds like it, and every song to follow is way more cohesive and well-structured and written. There's the other Black Dog with its driving drums. It's totally a synth-punk rager with just a dash of hip-hop and maybe some talking heads as well. There's not a lot of variation on the instrumental, but the ascending chord progression gives the song this constant feeling of heightening tension. Then Owusu's bold, bellowing vocal delivery fills in the gaps and has me on the edge of my seat, riding on every word he's saying. My chest empty, my brain on fire, I fight myself to pass the time. He looks at me with crimson eyes, then hugs me with the grayest tide. Speaking again, I think, on how exactly that depression hits him. There is a wild mood change on the track centerfold, which is this off-kilter psychedelic piece of funk with some surreal reversed vocals on the hook. It is a little T-Pab, it is a lot of prints, and maybe there are some creative parallels one could draw to Childish Gambino's Awaken My Love. The track has a strong vibe, even if it doesn't feature one of the most memorable or bold songs on the project. The groaned vocals on the back end of the track do leave a little bit to be desired as well. The following Waitin' On Ya is an alluring, soulful piece of funk with some horn hits slapping against some lovely electric piano keys. Then the incredibly groovy drums lock it all in tight. The vocal and narrative switch on this one is really interesting too. Owusu sings in this husky croon while writing from the standpoint of what sounds like the black dog, the depression that he's been singing about, that depression essentially becomes a sentient character trying to 
pull him in, woo him into giving into the depression. It becomes a almost cartoony in the way that a gorilla's album can be in a good way. The track Drown featuring Kieran J. Callanan is another exciting change of pace. It is a pumping and pulsating new wave rocker that shines through the track list like a righteous beam of light. Kieran's vocal performance is fiery. Owusu's hurried rap verses are touched with a bit of chorus. The pace and momentum of the track is exhilarating. Then the title track is a pensive centerpiece for the record that takes its sweet time building. Maybe another moment where I appreciate the narrative and the sentiment of the song more than I do the music, which did run a bit too mild on this one. Still though, everybody wants the summer without holding the rain, everybody wants feeling without touching the pain. I like this idea of approaching the glorification or fetishization of darkness or suffering without actually having to go through it. The following I Don't See Color brings yet another dynamic into the record narratively and sonically. Production-wise, this track is like a spacious, textured, hand-drum-heavy take on the classic sounds of the Neptunes or Pharrell. The groove and vocal style are pretty unmistakable, but Owusu definitely puts his own spin on it. Then on to the lyrical content, which essentially deals in racism, stereotyping, being seen as bad in the eyes of society because of the negative actions of a few or an individual. Black Black Dogs is a short, grimy punk rager with driving drums, distorted bass, with that extra dash of Owusu flavor on the sour, eerie synth chords and falsetto vocals. Narratively on this track specifically, Owusu seems to be embodying the viciousness that people seem to be stereotyping him with in order to, I don't know, fight back against it or just uh, uh, scare those who may be thinking of him negatively or in a racist light. Much of this energy also carries over onto the track Whip Cracker, which features some very bold, shouted rap verses over raw drums in the first half. The second half of the track busts into this new wave funk jam, diving into the lyrics. It's mostly about putting racists in their place. Then the final leg of the project is Not Too Bad Easy is a track that, to my ears, sounds like a... <laughs> It could be like a Rick James song if you crossed it with a bit of uh, dream pop. There are also a few ballads on the back end too, a song about fishing being one of them. It's uh, almost like the record's I've Got You Babe with a nice swaying groove in 3-4. It's a fine tune, but uh, one of the more underwhelming performances here. The mix came off a bit dry as well. No Looking Back though is really the slow burner to watch in the second half. The melody oddly enough feels like a variation, a slight variation on um, the chorus to Janet Jackson's Together Again. There are some lovely inspiring horns in the background. Owusu's voice sounds relaxed and gorgeous, like a weight has been lifted off his shoulders. Lyrically, the song seems to be about moving away from these dark points in the past and uh, seeing better days. But the somewhat psychedelic hip-hop closer on the record, which feels like a combo of Tame Impala and Kendrick Lamar, is a bit of an emotional cliffhanger, like this black dog that's been dogging us for the entirety of this record, uh, the depression, is uh, not completely gone. So overall, this record, uh, as a debut, I thought was really impressive. Owusu does, uh, I think at this point, still need some work, especially on the slower tracks on the record, which uh, didn't hit quite as hard sonically or emotionally. There, of course, was also the matter of that intro, and, you know, while I love the narrative sentiments and concept of this record overall, there were points where instrumentally and, um, I, I guess, uh, narratively, it could have been coming together more cohesively. It's a little tough to explain because there are some very nuanced ways in which I think this album is shooting for the stars but not quite making it there. I could tell when listening to this, this guy has been just digesting a lot a lot of concept albums and wanted to shoot for something in that realm right out of the gate and uh, and again didn't quite get there but like got close even though there are certainly some edges here that need smoothing out like I 
still loved listening to this thing and have no doubt that if the ambition shown here continues into the future, Owusu's career is going to be a bright one. I'm feeling a strong 7 to a light 8 on this project, Tran. Zishin, have you given this album a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head, it's another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Genesis Owusu, uh, forever.